When you're the motor master, you never need a tune-up. What's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the X Transbots Gravestone. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So, right up front, we have some lovely artwork there of a Gravestone, aka Motormaster, on the top of the box. X Transbots, bloody, bloody, bloody. On this side, actually, we'll go to this side. First, on this side, we have I only acknowledge one nobility that of strength. Ooh. On the side of the box, we have a very g one -y text spec going on there, and a bio if you want to read it. On the back of the box, we have the same image as the front of the box, just done in some electricity, some lightning electricity stuff. And on the bottom, we have Gravestone again, QR codes, barcodes, QR code, you want to scan it, go ahead, free scan on me. And we have Sad Pac-Man! It's rare we get these in Transformers reviews, and that's basically it for... Of the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with that same image there of Gravestone. And on the back you get tech specs again and you get the bio again if you want to read it. Again, hooray for cards! And moving right along, here we have Gravestone, the final component of x Transbots Monolith, their Menasaur. And this is their take on Motormaster. And uh, first off, as you can see, um, it's just the cab. He's kind of missing, he, he's missing the trailer. And uh, here's the thing, um, the trailer is a separate purchase. They're releasing the trailer separately from Motormaster himself. And the trailer is going to have all the combined mode parts. So even though we now have all five Stunticons, we can't form Menasaur yet until they put out the trailer. And I don't know when that's going to be. Hopefully it'll be soon. But yeah, that's uh, that's something we have to deal with. We, we can't combine them yet. Yeah, okay. But here is the Master of Motors in his truck mode, which looks quite good. So let's get in close. Yes, yeah, so we're going to take a look at the details. You can see the front grille, the front bumper done in a uh, kind of dull purple there, which looks pretty good. The headlights done in transparent plastic with some silver around it. The windshields done in a nice transparent purple plastic. And you got the side view mirrors, you got some horns, some lights. All that good stuff up top. Some more transparent purple right up there for that top section. Let me get some bits of purple picked out there. Silver on the rims. Smokestacks done in that purple as well. The tanks are done in a much brighter metallic purple, as you can see from everything else. And you can see the back wheels. The back section. Get some spots of red back there as well. The tail lights done in red. Now these are the faux. The faux wheels for his feet, but I guess these could serve as just more taillights. Hey, why not? You can never have enough taillights. And also you get a little bit of gold right up front there and some red. All around looks pretty good. There is the top. There is the bottom. He rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with MP44 Optimus Prime. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with the Transform Mission Motormaster. Here he is with the Fans Toys Motormaster. And here he is with G1 Motormaster because he's precious. Oh, so precious. And lastly, but of course not leastly, let's bring in the rest of the team and get in our group shot here and we can see the whole Stunticon crew and they look quite quite nice together so there you go now there is some uh, some articulation in the truck mode here uh, the front wheels can actually move from side to side here so you can actually have him you know making a turn which is pretty nice uh, the tires are rubber you got rubber tires on him um one thing that is a bit annoying is i do wish that the uh the wheel is actually locked in this position because you can see if you're just kind of moving them around like the wheels will just kind of collapse inwards 
like that. So, you know, that's a little annoying. Would have been nice if there was this little lock or even just a, just a thoop just to hold those wheels in place just so you can kind of move them around without the wheels just kind of collapsing in like that. Um, one little thing also, it's a, it's a nitpick, but as you can see, the front wheels just kind of stick out a little further than they should. It's only a little bit, but still, this would have been nice if they just sat a little bit more flush with the body itself. Um, one little issue I have with mine is that the, uh, the smokestacks here as you can see, can extend, and this one extends all the way and holds, but this one just, uh, that one doesn't like to stay up all the way, so I end up just leaving them both down. So, you know, just a little issue with my copy there, but there you go. And, um, you know, again, he doesn't have his trailer, but if you want to see what he looks like with a trailer, um, he is compatible with MP10's trailer. You just have uh, two slots back here, so we can actually plug MP10's trailer onto him, and... There you go. That's what it looks like with a trailer. So that can be the stand-in trailer until X Transbots releases his. Now, as far as accessories go, he does come with some weaponry. He does come with his gun here. Just done all in a nice shiny purple. It looks quite, quite good, in my opinion. Very nicely done. And you also get his sword. So it's quite good. It's done kind of like in a uh, like a charcoal black, but looks quite quite nice. Um, as far as storage goes, uh, can't really store this on him. Um, I'm assuming that this is supposed to store in the trailer that we don't have yet. Um, you can take the gun and just kind of drop it back here in that little gap. I mean, that's the thing you can do if you want to do it. The sword, I don't know what you can do with the sword. You can just, I don't know. Just 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 uh. uh it, it, there you go. Yay, storage! I don't know. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Most likely stores in the trailer, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> Can't spin them with rubber tires, but anyway. So let's get on to the transformation here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come these side sections here and just kind of pry this out and pull it out it does slide out so you just want to slide that out like so just open up those sections there and just pry that out just kind of get a nail in there Whoop. and just pull that out and also the smokestacks you can see sections plug into the bottom of the smokestacks here so you just kind of want to undo that if you can now swing that out there we go Get all this thing out, like so. And you also have these sections here, which untab from the bottom. And you just kind of swing those under and pull those out. And you just untab that, swing that under, pull that out. And once you do that, we need to come in here. And it helps if you just kind of undo this one arm again. You just have to kind of get a fingernail in there. Just kind of pry at least one side out like that. And that will allow you to then untab these sections here. They tab into the sides in there. So you can then untab that and bring that out. You can untab the other side and just bring that out. So once we've done that, you don't really have to, but you can just kind of get the other arm. Get this other section out too. Just kind of loosen all that up. We're going to have to anyway. So once we've done that, we can work on his legs. So first thing we need to do is open up these panels here, just untab those, bring those out. This right here is a hook tab, so you want to take this side and pull it down as you push this side up. So just kind of wiggle and just kind of push, wiggle and push. There you go, you get that hook tab in there. There's also a tab right in there that comes undone as well. So now we can get started with the legs. So this section here, you just kind of want to raise it up because it sits on a tab. You can also use the uh, the ab crunch here on the robot to have clearance and just swing that out. And take this whole assembly here. We just bring that down. And then the legs will extend like so. This right here is his foot with a little faux uh, truck cab. And you just slide that out to the side like so. The little faux wheels are going to rotate downward. And then you want to flip out his heel spray. You just have to kind of get your finger in this little groove in here and just try to finagle this out like that. Ah. And then you pull out this little section here and then this will just tab 
right there with this little tab section here. You can see it's, it's, I don't think it's a stress mark. I think it's just a plastic just kind of getting kind of scratched up as you tab and untab this. I haven't, it doesn't look like anything's cracking or anything. It just looks like it's just, just wear. But bring that down like so, and that makes this heel. And then you're gonna take this section, flip that in, take the tank, and this flips in. Then this section here, make sure that's pushed down. Just bring this down, bring this over, rotate this under, and then just close all this up, bring that down, and then rotate right there at the knee. And last thing we need to do is this little tab here, just rotates around like so. And there you have the leg all done. Second pass is just like the first. Just bring that out to the side, open that up. Slide, slide. Like so. Slide the foot out, rotate. Little faux wheels down. Get in here, just bring out that heel. Would have been nice if there was some way to really kind of get a grip on that, but you're just gonna have to find a way to finagle that out there. Bring out that heel. Yeah. Tab that in like so. And then flip, 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 flip. Bring that down under. Close it up. Bring that down. Rotate at the knee. And again, a little open slot right there. You just want to just rotate that around like so. And there you have the legs all done. So now we move on to the upper body. We have a bit of a gir truck going on there. Bit of a gir truck, eh? Why not? And so now we just want to take these sections with the arms. Just bring those out. These are on a slider, so make sure these are slid all the way out as far as they can go. And we're coming right here. We're going to pull out these panels here. Pull that out and then straighten that out. Pull that out and then straighten that out. And then these little panels right here will just come down and sit over that tab there. Bring that down. Sit that over that tab. And then we can just straighten him out. Like that. And the next thing we are going to do is we are going to take this section here, untab that, and just bring that back as far as it will go. We want to take the windshields and open them up. You want to open up this side first because it tabs over this side. So bring that open first. Bring that open like that. And now we have to do some, uh, some flipping and a flopping here with this little bit. So you want to take this section here, just bring this up, take these bits and fold them in like so. And once you've done that, you want to take this and just bring that down, get that out of the way. And then we take all of this and this will all just rotate around again, make sure these arms are pulled out so that will clear, make sure that the windshield's not in the way. Bring all that around like so, that brings up his head. And then this comes up, you can move these wheels out of the way so you can flip up these little panels here there you go and the wheels you just push into his chest like so you can then close these windshields back up and we're getting there we are getting there so now this right here is just going to come down onto his back like so and they're going to tab in right in here so just get that lined up and just tab it in on either side. This section here untabs and just collapses underneath like that. And we're getting there. We're getting there. So now let's do the arms. Just bring the arm down. This panel here you want to push in and this will flip all the way in like so and allow you to bring this up and lock all that into place. Once you've done that, this little panel here flips over and then all of this flips down and then we can work on his arm. So now we bring up this panel here, bring up this panel with his hand, bring that over. That will tab in right there like so. And then 
this black section here will come around. This will come around and tab in on the other side like that. And then you extend the arm, straighten it out, bring it back, bring it down, and then just rotate it and rotate everything so everything is oriented properly. properly. And there you have one arm all done. Second mass, just like the first. Bring it down, flip it down. Flip it down, bring it up, flip it over, bring it down, make a song, sing it right, or sing it wrong. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Anyway, just bring this round down. <laughs> we just set that up, extend, boom, boom, booyah, booyah, and I'll bring it to you. There you go. And the last thing there is to do is to take these sections here and just bring them out to the side. That will make his chest and just bring this up. This is on double hinge, so make sure you bring that down. Bring this up. There's a little tab here in this purple section that'll tab in right there. So just lift that up so everything will tab in like so. And the last thing we do is we just take his waist and just slide it back like that. And are we done? I think we're done. Yes, we're done. Whee! We're done, and there you go. There you have a gray stone, aka Motormaster, in his robot mode. And he's a pretty good looking Motormaster, in my opinion. Not too bad. Not my favorite, but not too bad either. I think he looks quite good. Now let's get in close here so we can take a look at his chest. Ah, it's lots of noggin. And you can see the face done, that nice metallic purple, purple for the eyes as well. That big old box head, as is a motor master. You have transclear and purple there on the chest. All around, pretty nicely done. Got some of that transclear and purple right there on the legs. You have the little faux mini truck cab there for his feet. And more at the back. Not too bad, you know, he's got you know, a little bit of a backpack going on there. But all in all, not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, he had, it can rotate into a full 360. His face can move up and down. It's a squirrel. And look down a little bit. Arms can rotate, can do a full 360. Can move in and out on some nice ratchets. And moving on down, he does have bicep rotation. He has over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation. You do have posable fingers. The thumb is on a ball joint at the base. And you have a hinge there and a hinge there. And his fingers on a hinge at the base as well as hinges, two hinges. That's the standard knuckle points there. He's got nice posable hands. He does have Waist rotation on a soft ratchet. He does have an ab crunch there. You can move these panels up to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward that far, back that far. You can move this out of the way. For outward movement, you can do the full splits. You do have thigh rotation, some thigh rotation, not a lot. You can see that's pretty much as far as you can get. You do have rotation right below the knee as well due to transformation. Yeah, slightly over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. Oh, nice ratchet. And the feet, uh, they can, you have to actually like untab, because there's a little tab that goes into a notch here, so you have to actually like kind of like unlock the foot there. So you do have upward movement there on the toe, which is also on a ratchet. Um, you can move it down a little bit and you have the ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his weapons. Now you can store the weapons on his back, if we come back here, you see he has these little, little posts that you can flip out. And if you want, you got little ports there. So you can store a sword back there. Uh, the gun, gun, you know, you really kind of have to store one thing at a time because if you store them both, they get a little, uh, little clustered there. But you know, you can store his weaponry on his back if you wish, but if you don't wish, if you want him to actually wield his weapons as a warrior does, you can do so. It is a typical dab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding. And you just plug it in, plug it in. It does tab in quite securely. Give him this gun. 
Tap that in, like so. He holds that quite securely as well. And there you go. So we can pew pew slash slash, pew pew slash slash, and do all kinds of that. So yay! Yay for pew pewing and slash slashing. And the last thing that is included is an alternate face. And to swap the faces, you just want to uh, tilt this head up. You want to get under his chin, and I'm not going to be able to do this with my finger. I can never do this with my finger. I need my handy dandy spudger here. Just got to get under here and just pop his face off. And ah, you know, you can do that. And then you pop on the new face here. And now he's angry mortar master. Grr! Grr! So there you have that, and now for comparison, there he is with MP44, Optimus Prime, with Masterpiece Megs, with the Transform Mission Motor Master. Here he is with the Fans Toys Motor Master. So you can see how those two look. Side by side. And here he is with G1 Motor Master because he's precious! Oh, so precious. And now it's time for the family portrait here. Because we can bring in the other X Transbots Stunticons here. And we can finally see the whole team together, and they do look quite nice together. Reunited, and it feels so good. So, there you go. So there you have Gravestone, and yeah, he's a solid figure. He's a solid Motormaster. Not my favorite, but still a solid figure nonetheless. The truck mode looks good. The robot mode looks good. The transformation is smooth for the most part. There's some little bits that, you know, you have to struggle a little bit to get undone. But for the most part, it is a pretty smooth conversion. The only thing that really sucks about this figure is that we don't have his trailer, so we can't form Menasaur yet. We still have to wait. For how long, I don't know, but we still have to wait to form Menasaur. Ah, oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> but whenever the trailer is finally released, we will slap these guys together, and we will form a Menasaur, so... Until then, there's more waiting to be done, but there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of X-Transbot's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Monolith playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the X Transbots Gravestone. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face! Ah yes, Motormaster! Now my Stunticon team is complete! Now it's time to show the Autobots what you can really do! Now merge and form Menasaur! Oh, yeah, we can't do that yet. What? Yeah, no, we can't do that yet. But, but that's what I created you to do. Yeah, the parts we need for that, um, they haven't cleared customs. Customs? That, that's a thing? Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. No, oh, I, uh, I didn't take that into account there. Oh, well, um, I'm, uh, not quite sure what to do now. I guess, uh, you and your team can just, uh, take a break for now. All right, cool. Oh, one more thing. Um, do you have any food allergies or, uh, clones I should know about? Well, uh, not that I'm aware of. All right, good. Uh, you can you can go ahead now. All right, thanks. Huh? Cleared customs. Hey, anybody seen me around? <laughs> <laughs>